This is a first alert weather day. He heard it right there. Our first alert weather team is tracking some rain moving to the tri-state this afternoon. You can see that system on the radar right here behind me. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amber Jayanth. And Ashley Smith, I know you've been tracking this system. So when are we expecting this rain to arrive? Well, we're already seeing some showers and thunderstorms across parts of the area right now, and that will continue as we head through the rest of this afternoon and evening and even into the overnight hours. So actually, we're under the threat for severe weather really any time between now and tomorrow morning, but we're really mostly focused on that timeline late this evening and into the overnight hours. So we do expect uh, that chance for storms to continue all the way through the next several hours and into uh, the overnight hours as well. So those showers right now that are popping up, this is just the beginning of what we expect to continue throughout this evening. So you see right now some of those uh, storms that are popping up across the area, not really widespread for the time being, but we do expect that to change as we head into uh, the rest of the evening hours. Right now we're seeing some of those storms in parts of Butler County. We also see some of those storms, uh, some of these showers you see here near Brookville as you move into parts of southeastern Indiana. And again, it's all moving from west to east through the area right now. So uh, those storms are just going to become more numerous as we head into the evening hours and overnight as well. So we expect that uh, those chances to really increase over the next several hours. So of course, it is a first alert weather day, as we've told you about, because of that threat for severe weather and also just uh, kind of disruptive weather when those uh, roads do turn wet. And of course, we could have some heavy rain embedded within any of these storms. Storm Prediction Center. They've been kind of back and forth, but the bottom line here when you look at this map is that there's a large portion of the country that's going to see the chance for severe weather, and we are included in it. We're kind of right in the center of that risk. So it's a slight risk. It's a two on a scale of one to five, but the risk is still there for damaging winds, hail, of course, lightning, heavy rain, all those sorts of things. So we're going to see the first round really beginning now all the way through midnight. That's more scattered storms. We're not necessarily going to see a line of storms moving through the area, uh, but we we will do expect more widespread showers and thunderstorms as we head into the overnight hours. So that timeline is from about 1 a.m. through 8 a.m. So that's when we expect that chance for more widespread showers and storms. Now, temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s right now. Pretty warm out there. 87 at CVG and in Hamilton, 86 at Lunkin, Lebanon right now at 85 degrees. And it is humid. Those dew points in the upper 60s to near 70. That's when you really start to feel that humidity in the air. We'll talk more about these storm chances in your hourly forecast coming up. Amber. All right, thank you, Ashley. And with some storms moving in tonight, you want to make sure that you download our free First Alert weather app and you can track all the changes in the forecast from your phone using live radar. And also you'll get a 10-day forecast and personalized alerts. So just scan that QR code right there on your screen to download that now. And breaking right now, the jury and the defamation trial between actor Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard has reached a verdict. Now let's take a listen in live into the courtroom as that verdict has now been delivered. And so the jury's about to deliver the verdict right now, so it is quiet. They're getting back into their positions and places waiting for the jury to come back in so those results will be read. But looks like the judge is speaking now. Let's listen in. At least a dollar for compensatory damages and up to whatever you feel the damages should be. Uh, and for punitive damages, you can put a zero there or you can fill out that as well. But I need those uh, lines filled out, okay? All right, so if I can have you retire back to the liberation room and do that for me, okay? Wow. <sighs> 